Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to add the minimap. The minimap is located on the top right side of the widget. When the game starts, the minimap will start visible. If we press tab and we do movement, the minimap indicator of the player will update. If we press tab, we got toggle here. We can use this toggle to on and off the minimap. This is the final result that we will achieve. When we press tab, our bottom menu will visible. And this is the minimap toggle with the green color that indicate that the minimap is active. If we click on it, the minimap will not visible and the color is changing to red. If we press tab again and we press tab again, the color button is updating. If we toggle it on and we press tab again, the color is updating by the end of this course you will have solid understanding of how to build the minimap and also implement some logic behind the minimap so let's get started to create the minimap in this course we will be using the project file of the part 8 you can find it under the description of this video I have also provided project file for the part 9 which you can download for free. There will be minimap plugin and two textures. We have now opened the project file of the part 8. The next step is we want to import the minimap plugin. So let's open our project file folder. Right click on the architectural minimap and select copy and inside our part 8 open the content folder right click and select paste and go back to unreal engine now we have the architectural minimap folder open the minimap folder open blueprint you can create a new folder to store the texture in this case i have created one open this texture map and the two texture is already available you can create these two texture by your own using photoshop and make sure it is square if you want to use your own texture we can go back to blueprint and create a new folder and give it name as you want then open the folder select the two texture and drag and drop into Unreal Engine. Double click it. For the MIP gain settings, make sure it is sample average. Texture group change to UI. Compression settings change to user interface. Do the same thing for the next texture. The next step is we want to update the blueprint minimap texture using our own texture we have just imported which is the minimap folder. Go back to blueprint folder, open BP minimap. On the left panel we have minimap overlay with background and playmaker. Select the background. On the right panel under brush we will change the image texture. Open the minimap folder. Select our map and press the arrow to apply the map and make sure it is square. If you want to move the minimap position, we can do that by selecting the minimap overlay and on the right panel, we can adjust the position X and Y. Let's adjust the position X. and also the position Y
something like this next select playmaker select the right arrow under brush click on the arrow button to apply the texture if you want to scale it bigger we can do that by adjusting the x and y size after done and you satisfied with the result press compile and save it just close the minimap to be able to show the minimap go back to content open the first person character folder open blueprint open bp for person character when the game begin play it will start by using the bp first person character let's find the event begin play node select this node and move it to the left area a little bit add a new pane from this input pull out and look for create widget from the widget class let's look for the minimap blueprint open the architectural minimap under blueprint select bp underscore minimap and click on the arrow button to apply the minimap press compile from the owning player pull out and look for look for get tire controller under game category from the return value pull out and look for add to v port Press compile and save and let's do a quick test. The minimap is now visible on our screen. Let's do movement. There is an issue. If we do a movement, the player indicator is not moving. Let's fix the issue. Go back to the 3D environment, open content browser, open minimap folder, under a blueprint, drag and drop the BP overlap actor. Click on the perspective button and enable top view. Move the actor in the middle. On the right panel, we can adjust the X and Y size. Make sure it is square. Copy the X value and put it on the Y value. And also double check the minimap to make sure the position of the minimap within the square texture. As you can see, there is a little bit gap on the top and the bottom. And also two times gaps on the left and on the right. Let's adjust the X value. Copy and paste it for the y value when it's done change to front from the front view it's correct already go back to perspective and let's do a quick test let's do a movement as you can see the minimap is working as expected. The player indicator is updating its location and rotation. The next step is we want to enable the toggle visibility of the minimap, which is this one. Let's close this first. As we know already, when game begin play, it will start with first person character first and when we press tab it will start with the bp main widget so the logic will happen inside the bp main widget so let's open the first person folder open the blueprint folders open bp first person let's disable the connection first and move this node the bottom a little bit next we want to control the visibility of this minimap from inside BP main widget
go to configurator folder open blueprint open widget and open bp mine widget select fed in and let's show the button this is the minimap button select the button scroll down find on click event and click on the press button let's go back first to the bp first person character from the empty area right click and look for custom event let's give it name like toggle minimap and let's add print string press compile and copy the name of the toggle minimap custom event go back to bp main widget from this node look for get all actor of class and for the actor of class we need to target the bp first person character press compile from the out of actor look for for each loop from the array element we need to target the toggle minimap custom event we have created pass to the name and select the toggle minimap and connect the input don't forget to compile the bp first person character let's do kick test if we press tab click on the minimap button the hello map is visible the next step is we want to create a new variable to store the data of the minimap on the left panel under variable click on the plus button and give it name like bp minimap let's just minimize go back to content open minimap open blueprint and we want to store the data of the bp minimap change the boolean type and type here bp underscore minimap and select object reference press compile and save from the bp minimap variable drag and drop to the canvas and select get bp minimap right click on the bp minimap and select convert to validate get and just remove the print string connect the toggle minimap to the bp minimap validate get we are using the same previous technique we did before press compile from the valid input drag and look for print string give it name like valid copy the print string and paste it underneath let's type not valid when the game begin play we want the minimap is visible first so when we click on the minimap button it will hide the minimap so it means we need to set visibility to hidden for valid input so from this input look for set visibility under widget in visibility setting change to hidden connect the input and for the not valid we want to do reverse so we want to make the minimap visible again and to make this system working we want to store the data of this hidden visibility inside bp minimap let's drag the bp minimap into canvas and select set bp minimap and connect the input drag and drop one more and select set bp minimap connect the input and this time we want to return value to bp minimap press compile we forget to return value should be go to target press compile and save it so let's do quick test if we press tab and we press the minimap it's working as expected but now we want to show the minimap when game begin play first let's start again we want to show the minimap the gameplay start to do that we need to create a new custom event from the empty canvas right click and look for add custom event 
and give it name like show minimap. Connect the input to create BP minimap widget and copy the name of the custom event. Press compile and look for event begin play. From the third pin, drag and look for the show minimap we just created. So when event begin play, it will show the minimap first. Let's do a quick test. If we press tab and we click on the toggle minimap, it is working as expected. 